All right, guys. So, um, okay. So, so now a few details here on how to get the guillotine from standing up and transition to the ground. Okay. So, if I mean um, a good starting point is okay. Let's say they shoot into you like a kind of double leg there. Okay. So you shoot in a double leg here. If I try to get it from here and I fall back, I won't have the angle. Because look, I get his head as I fall back here on, on the ground. Okay, his head is gonna pop out. Okay, so. The first thing you want to do is kind of pop your hip back. So when he comes in here, you pop your hip back, and now you got room to fit your arm inside. Okay. Now, there are different types of guillotines. The basic one is that the arm that wraps, the arm that wraps the head, okay, is the one that's going to choke. And the the, the other arm is the assistant arm, which is actually going to pull up. And this arm is going to give you all the leverage to crank it up. Otherwise, it's just gonna be kind of a bicep and chest kind of squeezing here. But you need to have this hand here to give the guillotine there, okay? So, so he, he comes in for the takedown, boom. I block it, block it, hand comes in, okay? My hand slips under, and always use the blade of your forearm. So your thumb pointing up. Now I'm gonna grab my other hand, and the way I grab it, usually I grab on my own wrist over here. Uh, kind of half hand, half wrist. I don't grab very much the whole wrist here because then my wrist is vulnerable for somebody to just wrist lock you there. I grab kind of half hand, half wrist. Okay, so he comes in, I block, half hand, half wrist over here. Okay, so two options. Option number one, sink it in, pop your hip forward and just go for today's technique. Okay, and option number two is just squat down, pull to guard and close the guard here, very basic. There. Once you close the guard, make sure you're tight here. Now from here, you want to stretch your legs so his upper body, his lower body goes back down. And I arch up. There. Okay. And make sure the elbow is down, always. I don't want to have my elbow up. If my elbow is up, it gives him room to get out. So your elbow always going down. So I'm kind of putting pressure like this on his head. So here, elbow down, stretch him down. And my right hand, the one that's elbows coming out here, I'm pulling up. Okay? Guys, especially if somebody's not resisting very much, there's not much strength needed, okay? So take it easy on your necks, it's just everybody's still working up here. Okay, so he comes in to shoot in. Okay, look, do it nice and slow. Sprawl back here, okay? So I get some space. My hand comes in, or the hand connects. Other hands on next here, okay? Option number one, just come forward, elbow down, up. Option number two, squat down here and get it, okay? Of course, if you guys are more advanced, you're just gonna jump close guard, okay? Now, from here, my left elbow goes in, right elbow comes out, and my legs stretch back, and my legs are actually pushing his whole back, his whole neck into my arm. So it helps too, you know. He's kind of pushing his, whole, his neck into my arm here. Okay. So it's important to keep him, to keep him on the um, his head trapped over there.